Hello YouTube, hello fellow questers, this is Artem from Germany featuring Marvel Puzzle Quest and today I want to talk about one star characters and which one stars you should definitely get. As you can see my one star pool is quite <laughs> empty almost. I only have Iron Man but he is more than enough to do my work. I mentioned in my first video that you should definitely get Iron Man or Juggernaut. Why? I will explain. Iron Man is one of a few one-star characters that has all three abilities. Most of them like Black Widow, like Venom, Yelena, only have two abilities. Uh, wait a second. Yelena had only two. Yes, she has. she has. Okay, and Iron Man has three, and all of his abilities are damage abilities. His um, most mostly used ability would be red. It deals a lot of damage. Single target. Then he has yellow, which is also single target. A, a little bit less, uh, not a little bit, but uh, less damage than red, but also creates protectiles so you in turn will receive less damage from your opponent and he has a team damage ability which is blue blue damages all of the foes of the foes and stuns them for two turns and he is easily the most powerful one star character you won't have trouble acquiring him as he is the most common character star you can get. So use him. If you have him, use him. He's definitely worth it. Another one star character you should definitely get if you don't want to play Iron Man is Juggernaut. He only has two abilities, which are a green and a red ability. Green clears... The pool destroys 16 random tiles. And yellow, uh, yellow <laughs> and red, his red ability is a damage ability, a strong damage ability, but a double edged sword. You will deal damage to the opponent, but also receive 50% of the damage. So Juggernaut inflicts damage upon himself. But that's okay, he has a lot of life points. So no worries. Why did I mention those two characters or one star characters in general? Because you will need them when you start playing the campaign. I call it campaign. It, uh, it's a lot of yeah. That's the, the, that's uh, those are the first missions uh, you get. So you may you get used to the game. There, will, there you will acquire a lot of rewards and I highly recommend you to play all of those missions. Get as many rewards as you possibly can. If you have trouble, maybe you should return later to the campaign. The, the missions are permanent. It means they don't have a time limit so you can take your time. You don't have to rush. I mean, Marvel Puzzle Quest is not a game where you have to rush, first of all. Take your time, build up your roster slowly. Start with one or two one-star characters. Get as many two-star and three-stars as I already mentioned in my first video. Because they will... They, they will... They will give you more, you will have more than getting four star or five stars in the beginning. They are useless in the beginning. They won't you won't benefit from them. This is something that most of the players will agree with me. So why should you get aside from the campaign, why should you get a one star character? If you play this one, this is the PV. This is uh, the PVE. Uh, all all of the uh, events. Currently, Deadpool's daily. 
I have a plan. Deadpool, Deadpool is there. <laughs> I mean, Deadpool is a funny character, but you should at least have one one star character so you can clear the first two missions on Deadpool's daily. This one. It requires a one star character and Iron Man as well as Juggernaut or are easily enough to solo this mission. You don't need two monster characters or three. Either Iron Man or Juggernaut will do the job. Then you can use your one star character for this one, but I I don't recommend that. You should probably get two star characters. In my next video, I will talk about two star characters and which you should definitely get. So I try to have a short video about one star characters. Uh, like I mentioned the last time, if you have any questions about the game, you don't understand certain mechanics, you are not sure about the, uh, which character you should get, always write in my comment section, ask me. I would love to answer those questions as I'm trying to help beginners and intermediate players. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share this, leave a like or a dislike and explain what I could possibly change. Subscribe and that's it for this video. I wish you a nice day. All of you, keep on questing and see you until next time.